What if the smartphone in your pocket or even the car you drive relied on a metal far rarer than gold? Right now, gold trades at around 3,370 an ounce. Platinum sits closer to 1,360 and palladium at around 1,125. But here's the twist. Even though they are priced lower, platinum and palladium are far scarcer in the Earth's crust and their industrial uses are critical to modern technology. Today we are diving into these two metals, exploring their mining, demand, rarity, and what they mean for collectors and investors. Let's start with where these metals actually come from. Platinum is mined mainly in South Africa and Russia, while palladium comes from primarily Russia, Canada, and South Africa. With supply concentrated in just a handful of countries, politics, sanctions, or trade disputes can disrupt the market overnight. But it's not just about the mines, it's also about how much of this metal actually makes it into investors' hands. For investors, platinum and palladium bullion coins and bars are already rare compared to gold and silver. And because supply is so concentrated, even small disruptions matter. Geopolitical tensions in Russia or production issues in South Africa can trigger sharp price swings and in some cases cut investors off from the global bullion market altogether. Now let's shift from supply to demand because industry has huge role in determining value. Platinum was once the dominant choice for catalytic converters in diesel vehicles, and it still plays a role in jewelry and medical devices. Palladium, however, has become critical for gasoline catalytic converters, electronics, and even hydrogen fuel cells. This surge in industrial demand is what drove palladium's price above platinum's in recent years. Though it's worth noting, those high prices have pushed automakers to begin substituting platinum back into gasoline converters. That shift could reshape demand for both metals in the years ahead. And this brings us to one of the most important factors of all, rarity and value. Platinum is already around 30 times rarer than gold in the Earth's crust. Palladium, on the other hand, has faced a persistent supply deficit with industrial demand outpacing mine production for years. That imbalance, more than mining output alone, is what drove palladium's price to spike above platinum. But with that rarity comes extreme volatility. Platinum tends to act as a steadier hold while palladium has become a roller coaster ride for investors. So where does this leave us now? In the end, there's no single winner in the platinum versus palladium story. Each metal brings its own strengths, platinum offers long-term value and potential in new technologies like hydrogen fuel cells, while palladium delivers high-risk, high-reward volatility tied to the automotive industry and geopolitics. The real question is, which one fits into your investment strategy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear whether you lean towards stability or speculation. And don't forget, this wraps up another episode in our Precious Metal series. If you want to keep exploring gold, silver, platinum, and more, check out the full Precious Metals playlist right here. And be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the next episode because the world of precious metals is just getting started.